happy holi to all of you today in untold delicacy we'll be making gujia a very popular sweet dish and uh, eaten generally in holi and diwali for this there are a few links of the ingredients that i have shared in the description below please see it and if you need anything you can order it from there for this recipe you need khoya suji musk melon seeds raisins khand or sugar maida desi ghee and elaichi we are making a sugar free version hence using khand if you do not have khand you can either order it or you can also use sugar now to make this recipe heat a cauldron and add semolina and stir it very well mix it well so that it turns it takes that golden brown color This is how it looks once it is turned golden brown. You can cook it for around 5 to 10 minutes. Make sure that you don't overcook it. Now take another cauldron and add khoya. Heat it and let it melt for 2 to 3 minutes. and mix this as well make sure that there are no lumps and keep stirring it till the time it turns golden brown This recipe is very close to my heart because it's my nani's special recipe and she makes it every year for us. Once it is golden brown in color, now is the time to add the roasted semolina. Also add cardamom powder and raisins along with it and mix it well. once again keep mixing it till the time there are no lumps add a few musk melon seeds in the mixture This inner filling looks good and it's well uh, roasted now. So now is the time to add khand. If you don't have khand, you can also use sugar, but we are making a sugar-free version and using khand, which is a rich source of iron, minerals and vitamin. Now, we'll prepare the dough for gujia. For this, you need to add some add the refined flour. add ghee in it and then mix it very well then make a dough using some water it is said that you should add that much ghee in the uh, refined flour wherein you can make some balls this is how the dough should look you can keep it aside for at least 15 minutes for it to settle then next is to make round chapatis of this dough we use maida or refined flour for this so that we can make that outer covering thin one more thing that is very important to a while we'll add the filling to these gujiyas is making a paste of refined flour and water 
adding uh, putting that paste around the chapati will help us stick it when we'll make the shapes of gujia adding the gujia mix inside it and when we'll cover it it's going to help us stick around yeah so on the corners of this chapati we'll add that refined flour and water mix water paste and then spread it now inside of this we will add the gujia mix that we have made and now we'll cover it from one side just close it it will form a d shape can also give it a design using the fork heat a pan and add some desi ghee in it now add your gujiyas and stir fry it You'll have to wait till the time you can turn it around. Turn it around and you can take it out once it is golden brown in color. If you like this tasty and delicious recipe, please follow Untold Delicacy. You can also comment on how was your experience when you made it. We have also shared a few links that you will need for this recipe so you can look in the description below. Happy Holi!